And you're, and you're saying, well, I'm not going to believe you. Yeah, well, I believe he's, he's saying, if you're thankful, believe me. No, but I believe in him as a as, saint. As a, as a saint? Yeah. He's a saint. Perfect. Yeah, in my beliefs, he is. In, no, in the Bible, right, according to the Catholic rubbish, right, a saint is someone who's like super holy and super happy. No, I'm not. That's rubbish. In the Bible, it says those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, yeah, they're saints. But how do you know I'm a saint. Yeah. I've been forgiven. I, I'm a saint. We're just here. That means very, very I'm modest, forgiven. aren't you? No, no, no. You, you don't, you're, you're understanding the wrong idea. A saint is not someone who's perfect. A saint is someone who believes in the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm that's a sinner. That's your saved by grace. No, it's that's what the it says it's time and touch. Show me. Huh? Okay, he writes to different church. You got right. You got the. No, you just define saint and you say it's what the Bible said. Yeah? Show me. Okay. Show me what a saint is. Yeah. <laughs> to the saints at Ephesus, to the saints at Galatia, to the saints Show me. What are you talking about? Show me. You say it's something in the Bible. Show me. Uh, unto the church of God, which is Corinth, sanctified in Christ, called to be saints. There you go. There's your proof. They're saints. Corinth. So you read the book of Corinth. What were they doing? He was disciplining. He said, why are you doing all this? You're sinning. And yet they were called saints. Yeah, because they believe. Hang on. No, okay. I'll just prove it. Okay. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm a saint. I'm forgiven. I'm not perfect. No one is perfect. But I'm forgiven by the Lord Jesus Christ. Who do you, who do you trust? Yeah, forgiven. Where's Hashem? Hashem go down. I'm not because Jesus got punished for me. Sorry. Let me go get so, uh, over there. You're, you're oh, taking everything from the Bible. Yeah. But there's that one problem. How do you know the Bible is true? Ah, now if God is God, he can write a book. If he's stupid, yeah. he can't. But, he, oh, no, God makes mistakes. He can't write a book. End up with these folks. Oh, this guy. He's a Christian. Philip. So David was a king and a prophet. So he was a king and a prophet. Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Okay. He wrote through the prophets. He wrote through the prophets. Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, 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 well, like John, uh, who, who are they? They, they came no, like John after. John prophesied. John, John was on. He, he wrote the book of uh, Revelation at the end. He was on. He was on the Isle of Patmos. He wrote Revelation. So he's a prophet. No, they're no, prophets and kings. No, I just That's, so here they were. So they're the prophets and kings in know, India. I don't believe it. You don't believe it? No. Well, tell me one who wasn't. <laughs> tell me one in the Bible who wasn't a prophet or a king. Who wrote Moses? What was he? He's a prophet. Moses wrote Genesis, I'll Exodus, I'll Leviticus, I'll Numbers, I'll Deuteronomy. I'll he wrote the he wrote no, no, no. he wrote the Torah. In jail, in jail. Are all prophets, in jail. Are, are, are prophets like pure, like all good from heart? Uh, yeah, but they weren't perfect. What did what did David do? So Jesus he slept was with perfect. Bathsheba. So there, so Jesus was. What did Yahya? What did the prophet John the Baptist? Was he a sinner? Yeah, he needed forgiveness as well. He was a great prophet. He said when he saw Isa el Masih, Isa okay, el Masih, like, uh, Ibn Miriam. Isa al Masi, right? When he saw when he saw uh, Jesus, son of Mary, what did he say? He said, "Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world." That's what he said. He said, "Look, he is the sacrificial Lamb who takes away the sin of the world." That's what he said, John the Baptist. So he was a prophet. They're all prophets. If God is God, he can write a book. If he's stupid, he can't. But God's not stupid. He made your brain. You're not stupid. You speak a lot of sense. 760 miles an hour, sound is hitting your ears. And it's hitting your brain. You're able to assimilate all that information. You can probably speak another language but as well. You your brain is phenomenal. God, if he's clever enough to make your brain, he can write a book. He can come down to this planet. He can communicate. How Tell me one thing Jesus did wrong. How, how do you know Sorry? God wrote that book? Yeah, that's, that's exactly I've read it. Most people yeah. say, oh, the Bible's a load a of rubbish. Had, well, well, I checked it out. And don't, so, still don't believe God wrote Archaeologically, it. History, historically, it's spot on. What about yeah, theologically? That's on your uh, level of rationality. <laughs> well, no, not my it rationality. Could, I've checked it, it out. It could be I've different for some, I, some I'll reason. tell you what, have you checked out Genesis 6-6 six, six, where it says God regretted? Uh, no, what, he, do you know what? In the original language, uh -huh. it's, it's Naham. And what does it mean? Do you know what Naham means? What does it mean? It means to repent. Oh, exactly. Do you know what God repented. Means? That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's a, uh, it's, this is a contradiction. It means he changed his mind. Naham means to change your mind. When he saw the evil that was around, he yeah. thought, why did I make these? So in sorry, sorry. Oh, no, no. Continue what you were saying. He's there, thinking in time. Hang on. He was he's thinking, why did I make these he, decisions? So yeah. did he make so the wrong decision? No, 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 no. Here, I'll, I'll answer. I'll answer. 
He's thinking in time. He's outside of time. God is outside of time. Yeah? Exactly. And did he not plan but that? He can be in time as well. Sure. No, no. Because he's the God. Because he can do everything. Hold, so hold on, hold on. outside of time, he knew it's going to happen. Let's look but at the verse. Time, because many people don't know what the verse is okay, talking let's about. Take the that verse. Okay, the verse. Okay, okay. Read the verse. Yeah. yeah the verse is the talking verse, about bear with me, yeah? God. Repented or regretted. Naham, Naham. Hold on, he hold changed on. his mind. Yeah, let's, we, we don't talk Hebrew, yeah? We don't we we know English. Time. Okay. So here's the verse, yeah? So this yeah, is from verse. Genesis 6 5. Yes. The Lord saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of the yeah. human heart was only evil all the time. They were Genesis 6 6. They lost the the Lord regretted that he had made human beings on, on the earth, yeah. mm -hmm. and his heart was deeply troubled. Yes, yes. Genesis a heart. 6 7 further to this says, So the Lord said, I will wipe from the face of the earth the human race I have created yep. and with them the animals, the birds and the creatures that move along the ground for I regret a second time God has repeated Naham. I regret in Hebrew, that I okay. have Naham, made regret or repent first and foremost and in Hebrew, and it's no, uh, on, metanoia, metanoia I, in the Greek Can I ask you the question? Yeah Did God plan humanity to come on earth? He's outside of time, yeah he, he, so he He's, he's written, he he's written the end So the prophecies he, he tells you what's going to happen in the future. I haven't finished my question. You already started to answer. Got, no. Let me finish the question. Okay, sure. The question is this. If God had planned everything from yes, the beginning, he has. yes, he surely knew that human beings were going to yes. cause trouble. Outside of time, yes. There you go again. And he's Let me finish the question, please. Yeah, yeah. Well, go, go on. You keep interrupting. How will no, I do no, that? No, 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 okay. No. Third attempt. Hopefully, you'll get lucky this time. <laughs> So if right. God if God had planned everything, pre-planned everything, yeah. yes, and God knew everything about the future, yeah. yes, and he's like you said beyond time, yeah. then why does he regret or repent something that he knew was going to happen anyway? Okay. You finished? That's the question, yeah. Outside of time? Yep. He knows what's gonna happen. Yep. The end. He's already in heaven. He's living in the eternal now. Exactly. He yeah. created time. Here's the beginning of time, here's the end of time. Right. He can step into time yep. and tell you what's going on in his heart. Right. He's in time. He said, Look at these people, they're sticking two fingers up at me. Noah, he's the only true prophet, and these three sons, Ham, Shem, Yafet, yep. and their three wives. Everyone else is doing that. So in time, God said, Look what a mess. So he's outside of time and he's in time. Right. Because he's perfect, he can do that. So in time, he's just he's communicating to us in time. He's saying, what a mess, what are you doing? Why did I make you? So he's he's communicating. He's not a, I'm outside, I knew it's going to happen. I have no emotion, I have no heart. But no, he's communicating in time. So sometimes he does that. No, no, hold on. You know when, when a person repents or regrets? When they realize they have made a mistake? Yes. Do you, do you agree with that? But, when a person no, usually regrets or repents yeah. his mistakes? Yes. Do you think God made a mistake by creating men? Then why did he repent or regret? <laughs> exactly, my point. It's the context. You got it. If you take the text, we know the context. Out of context. Oh, we know the context. Con yeah, he read. He read the words for yeah, you within the context. context. He's, in, he's, he's talking in time. He's outside of time and he's in time. My friend, just like just, just like you have confirmed that God does not make mistakes, then why a, should he repent or it regret? It wasn't a mistake. He he's, he was looking at. It's oh, he's he's just saying, oh, why did I make you? He's not saying, whoops, I shouldn't have done it. No, he's, you no, regret it. Yeah, but the, the word regret means when you make yeah, a mistake, you English. regret. It's Naham. You've got to know the context of Naham, the Hebrew word. Yes, but the, all and the Bible translators, it. hold on, all the Bible translators use the word either regret, repent, or yeah. sorry. Well, you've got to translate. Wait a minute. The original Hebrew is perfect, but the English is not spot on. So you're saying there's no word for Naham in English? Not perfect, because it's the whole context of it. Well, the context. Regret. Do you really think all these, all these people who wrote the Bibles in English, they didn't, they didn't, did not look at the context. They just use the word regret. Yeah, that's the closest you can get. Regret. Come on. Okay, regret exactly, yeah. which only is happening when a person realizes he or she makes a mistake. Are you saying? Are you saying then that the uh, the Bible is is just is something to be dismissed? No, I think there's mistakes. No, I'm saying the As Bible. Muslim, you believe the Bible, the Old Testament that you've got. You know what is the earliest manuscript you have? Be a free thinker. From the time of Moses until the earliest manuscript, which I believe is uh, it's, it's from the Nag Hammadi, you know, the Dead Sea Scrolls. You got a thousand years. For a thousand years, you got not a single manuscript. Are you okay. saying there wasn't enough room for these texts to be somehow right, be you corrupted? You understand scribes. There were hundreds of scribes throughout the Torah. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, and the rest of the Tanakh. Yes. Okay, the whole of the Old Testament. Now, their whole job, hundreds of them, not two, 
there's hundreds of them, they had to meticulously copy, 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 copy. Were, were they off in their jacuzzi or playing golf with uh, President Trump? No, they weren't. They were there meticulously, day in, day out, copying it. So it was spot on. How That's do you know spot on? So how do you know spot on? Is this Rega 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 Are you scribes, saying those scribes never made a mistake? If they don't copy it, all of them, all those hundreds of scribes, Repeat they're in big trouble. My they're friend, in big trouble. Are you saying then? God is watching. That's your job. Of course. God says, right, you're a scribe. Copy what Moses, Musa, what he wrote. No, no, Musa did not write the Old Testament. So do you know what Jeremiah uh, said? Are you saying Moses? Wrote, are you saying Moses actually wrote about him, himself dying and being buried in the last book of uh, Joshua. the? Joshua, Joshua wrote that. Joshua uh, wrote but you that. said Moses. He wrote the first. Now language. you're saying Joshua. Okay, well, good. The last bit was Joshua. Okay, let me ask you. Let good me ask you this question. Regarding your scribes as well, though. Yeah. Huh? Regarding your scribes, yeah. Jeremiah in eight eight says, "How can we say we are that, wise?" Man. And that we have the Lord before, the Lord. before we go that Muhammad, let me let me ask right, you this question let me ask you this question do you really think the scribes have not made a single mistake no not of them have you got any evidence for that oh uh, yeah here it is what is it here it is read jeremiah 88 as well after you read that in the bible <laughs> read, in the original read. hebrew not not in the english but in the original i tell you what hebrew. you read it in hebrew in english well, in french in, in aramaic in greek i read it i read, i was in jerusalem jerusalem yeah. and i read it i've got the, the shrine of the book and I read it in Hebrew. In what language? You read it in Hebrew. Wait, wait. Hebrew. I can read okay. Hebrew. And how old is that manuscript? It was, uh, that was uh, 400 BC, was it? 400 BC. 400 BC? Yeah. Wow, so you got something older than the Dead Sea Scrolls? No, that was, they found it. They oh, those are the Dead Sea Scrolls. Yeah, 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 okay, good. Do you know how many, how many years before that Moses lived? At least 1300 years? 1200 years? Yeah. Yes. So they copied So, so you're telling me, scribes. wait, wait, hold on. Hold. Do you, do you, don't you I'm, I'm trying to get the timeline right. It's job my friend. copy the scribe, the scribe, that's their job. <laughs> my friend, just because it's their they job be making, doesn't mean they make no mistake. They're not God. Hundreds, it's not just one, there's hundreds of them. And that's why you got hundreds of different variances. No, 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 no. You've got, yes, the yes, one, yes, yes. You got to one Hebrew <laughs> old covenant yeah. book. You know Christians can't even agree upon 66 books or 73 books? Christians, Christians don't <laughs> They can't even agree on the number I of books, say let alone the different variances. 90% of Christians who you speak to, they don't know this stuff. They don't know any Hebrew, they don't know any Greek. They're just watching the God Channel. And they're listening to Benny Hinn and you saying, oh, and all that sort no, no, of I'm talking about the Bible. I'm not talking about those people who... Don't go by I'm not talking about the layman. I'm talking about the people the who actually read the Bible. In the end times, there will be crazy Christians who are following all yeah, sorts of... Yeah, but we're not talking about those Christians. Okay. I'm talking about the people who Sensible actually... ones who know their stuff. No, I'm talking about the people who put the Bible together. Yeah. Do they know if it's... Who is, who is do, do they know it's 73 books or 66? What, what do you think about... Most? No, no, answer the question. 66 books or 73 books? Which is the correct version? Both wrong. So how many books then, you reckon? It wasn't 66. So how many books, you tell me? Okay. If you go to, uh, if you speak to a Hebrew person, they will know that one Chronicles, two Chronicles, one Kings, two Kings, and one, um, one, one Samuel, two Samuel. They are regarded as one book. So in actual fact, when they say there's 66, there's 63, because those three books, uh, they're divided in two, but, so there's actually 63. Okay, so you think there are 63 books and everyone else is wrong? All the people well, who claim no, otherwise those, are wrong. Those who, uh, those who know their stuff, it's, well, you can make up any number, but it's 63. Okay, 63. Yeah. And what makes you think, when you got a gap, a manuscript gap of over a thousand years, yeah. how do you know it's intact for those thousand years? On what basis? Other than your claim? Scribes, it's their job. It's, 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 yeah, but you don't they, have anything written by scribes for a thousand years. God will strike them down and say, look, I've given you a job, <laughs> write it down, there's hundreds of you, do your job properly. So and that's they what make they a mistake, they'll be have punished. You, have you, if, yeah. Have you? Do you do you know any scribe who died from writing? Uh, no, they were too scared to make any mistakes. Were they? <laughs> so, they, they, so, they, you're, they, so you're telling me that every single scribe they did not make a single mistake. No, 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 Come no. on. Okay, here's the thing. I think you need to do some, the manuscript. No, no, no. Some of them work. Some research. But then you got the other 97. or there's actually more than 97. They say, hang on, on. This, listen, mate. You've just made a mistake. You've lost a job. Okay, I'll tell you and what. And then the 97 carry Let on. me ask you this. Name me, let, no, no, hold on. Thing. Let me ask you this. Let's name me, to, name me let's one. Let's get to Isa. No, 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 no. Let's, so let's not fast forward. Ibn Miriam. Let's not fast forward. Miriam, Isa, name me, name me one scribe who has written. Wait a minute. Name me one scribe who has written, who has written from the time of Moses. One scribe gone. Give me one name, name of one scribe. Because you think all the scribes are perfect, they never made a mistake. This is your claim, but you have no evidence for it, other than your claim. So, can you even name them? Can you even name one scribe? Here. Says it in here. No, says in here what? It says, it says in, in Jeremiah 8:8, 8, 8, the lying pens have falsified the word of God. What more you want? What, 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 hey, what does it say? Read it. No, what, what, no, no, read it. No, what is it? Where, where, I paraphrase. It's it? saying the lying pen of the, the of the scribes have falsified the word of God. I where? paraphrase. Where does it say? Jeremiah 8 verse 8. Jeremiah 8. What's 8? Now, what scribes is he talking about? 
There were loads of <laughs> the same scribe prophets. you said didn't make any mistakes, <laughs> <laughs> apparently. So you're saying the whole of the Bible's wrong? No, I'm telling you to read it. Read it. Read it for yourself. Yeah, it. And I'll tell you what, then you translate it in Hebrew. Look at the original Hebrew and you tell me what it means. How about Jeremiah that? Jeremiah what? 8-8 eight, eight for the it third time. It sounds a bit scientific what you're getting. You know, it sounds like you're getting very scientific about basically very simple. It should be. The manuscript think, evidence has to be scientific in order I to be And yeah. this is a, he's talking oh, about yeah, the yeah, false scribes. Circle, he's talking about Does the false Does it use the word false scribes? Yeah. yeah go on. I hearken and heard, but they spoke not right. No man repents of his wickedness. What have I. And so he's talking about wrong people. Yay. Uh, the stalk in heaven knows their appointed times. How do you say? How do you say we are wise and the law of the Lord is us, is uh, is with us? Lo, certainly in vain. Mm -hmm. Made he it. The pen of the scribes is vain. Is what, vain. Sorry, which the, version of the Bible is that? It's King James. King James. Okay. Is that is that accurately believed? The wise men are ashamed. They are dismayed and take. They have rejected the word of the Lord yes. because they're following false. So what? False scribes. So we do have false problem. scribes. We do. Unlike you, you in said earlier, you all the scribes and you didn't make a prophets. single mistake. That's I'm what you said. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about the right ones. I'm, the, I'm talking about the have true prophets. Can you name me one, one right scribe? Go on. Name me one scribe from the time of Moses. Scribes. So you don't know the names. How do you know they never made mistakes? I know the prophets exactly. and the kings. But hold on. The prophets and the kings. Yeah. Stories that you, you find. Daoud, hold on. And the Musa, prophet, what, what? Yahya, one second, my friend. You believe in the prophets. The prophet and the king stories that you find in the Bible are written by unknown people. We don't know who they are. How do you know they didn't never make mistakes? That's my point. You see, in Islam, right in Islam, we know the names of the scribes, we know their biography, we know the prophets, we know the messengers. Okay, we know about them. It's not like unknown people. You know, it's like anyone can say anything, and you have to put them as a as a canonized word of God. There. It is a canonized word of God because Moses, David, Solomon, Jeremiah, they wrote these things down, and the job of the scribes was to preserve and protect it. And Yeshua, Isa. He came along and he said, the word of the Lord, of the Lord is pure and it's perfect. That's okay. So said. you're going to tell me, you're, wait, 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 you're going to tell me that a mighty <laughs> messenger like Moses, one, one second. Yep. You're, you're, you're going to tell me, a, a mighty, I agree, mighty He's messenger, meekest, meekest of, mighty messenger of God, Israel. Moses, are you saying he went about killing everyone in, media, in the median and harvesting the virgin girls and killing everyone else? Is that what you're telling me? That's pure righteous and perfect according to you okay. killing everyone except the virgin girls if you have a group if you have a group of Is philistines right? uh -huh. who yeah. are going to attack your land right. they come in and they're going to rape your family right do you think it's a god a good god who says let them do it or he says no you kill them you destroy their family Why keep the virgin? that is a just and, and fair and loving God. Right. That's what they were attacking and they were they were following false gods. Right. So the you're, you're and, telling and me following Baal. Wait, you're telling me that those children, those infants, those babies okay. that who were deliberately targeted to yes. be killed, yes. you think those babies were going to attack the Israelites? God's outside of time, yeah? So he knows, no, no, wait, wait. He, does he know what you're going to do tomorrow? Hold God, on, hold God. on, hold on. No, God no, no, tells no. you why they were killed, not for the evil. He knows what these children will do when they got up. Really? Be worse where did he say that? Families. Show me where he says that in the Bible. He says he's the eternal no, God. No. Show me where he says those babies were going to kill tomorrow. Here we go. Gone. And make sure it mentions the babies there. Because this is how they justify killing children, you know? Oh, they're going to kill the Jews, the right. Israelites, or kill them all? If you came across... That sounds like the ISIS to me. If you came across... Um, Hitler, baby Hitler, right? Yeah. And you knew he was going to grow up to kill a whole load of people. Would you kill that baby? I would. Are you talking about one baby? God told hold, me hold on, hold on. this baby is going to go up yeah. and kill. Let me ask you this. And, and Are you talking about people? one baby or talking about the entire community? community. I'm not talking about the entire community. I'm talking well, about I'm talking about the entire community that's been mentioned in there. Yeah. Okay, the Midianites were massacred mercilessly for what vengeance. Were, for vengeance, not the, for the evil. For the, the vengeance. Do? What were the what Midianites were the gonna do? What were the Midianites? What was the plan? What were the Midianites? They were a bunch of uh, false god worshipping. No, no, my friend. The Midianites were the people who gave refuge to Moses. Yes. Yes? Go and read your history. They lost the plot. They lost the plot. These people give refuge. It is like telling... Right, here we go. Come on, man. I can't even fathom what this is. Isaiah 46.10. He says, this is uh, Yehovah. No, right? Read number 31, God. the one I'm mentioning. Declaring the end from the beginning and the ancient times, and, and from ancient times are things that are not yet done. That is what he does. He declares the end from the beginning. So he's he's eternal. Where does this it is, say this is kill the children? Means. Because yeah, they're going to the kill eternal. you tomorrow. Where does it say that? He knows what. You That's know, what you. Are, are of you course, he knows everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So however, he knows what you're do however, however, God doesn't say it is for the evil that I'm going to kill these people. He says very clearly it is for vengeance. Read Numbers 31, 18, and you will know what I mean. Okay, what did they do then? What was the vengeance? Read was it. The context? Read it in there. 
what is it? 3118. What, Jeremiah? No, Numbers. Numbers? Yeah. You can read from the beginning if you want. Numbers, numbers 31 okay, I mean, from I, the beginning. I, I, that's I don't fine. have to turn to I, I believe that you, that, that's what it says. Okay, so Numbers so 31 so tells you why 